When we put these DIY kits together, we actually put the assembly together. We check for clearances, we check for tolerances, and then when there's a three-step balancing process. So we get asked a lot about these grinding marks. I'm not sure if you can see this grinding mark here, this grinding mark here, maybe those grinding marks right here, maybe those grinding marks right there. What those are are balancing marks. So when these get balanced, you actually remove material to get them into balance and tolerance. And we actually mark where we balance it at. So that's a crucial mark for you to line it back up to when you're installing the product. What I recommend you do is not use a torque wrench. I don't know how or why, but somehow when customers use torque wrenches, they tend to break these. Uh, we build thousands of turbos a year and never snap the shafts. It's not a shaft problem, but for whatever reason, customers break them all the time. So I we put these two blue marks on there so you know how to line it up. I'm gonna show you how to line them up and how much to tighten it. What we've done is we've torqued them here balanced them and marked them. So all you got to do is line up these blue marks. And it doesn't take a lot of torque to do that. Let me show you just how tight it needs to go. So that is loose. So when you're tightening it, it's going to snug up just before the blue marks touch. But you see how they're almost lined up but not lined up? That's all the torque it takes. Done. Doesn't matter where you start the wheel. A lot of people worry the threads won't line up. No, the threads line up the same every time. When you torque it back down, the blue paint mark will stop just before tight. You see that? And then line it up. You don't even need a wrench. You just line up those two blue marks right there. If you go past that, you will snap it. Also, in case anyone's worried, these naturally tighten as they're running. So by the way that they rotate, the turbo itself will tighten the compressor wheel when it's running. Uh, keep in mind that 7.3s are righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. All other turbos are righty-loosey, lefty-tighty.